Huge thank you to Hellfire for help with this video. His links are in the description. Go and show him some love. All right, what's going on, guys? Got a new glitch to show you in Borderlands 2 today that I'm calling Javelin Swapping uh, because it's similar to swap shots, aka multi shots, but on TDR rocket launchers specifically. So now that you know what the glitch is called and you know that there is even a new glitch, it's not. It's not. It's not actually new. It's been around for probably since the game came out. It's been around for a very long time, I was kind of just hesitant to make a video on it because I thought people might have already knew about it or something, especially with Javelin Creek being a build, but I've done a lot of research to like, try and see if anybody actually does know about it, and I haven't found anybody publicising this or really giving it a platform, so here you go, Javelin Swap. What is it? Well, for those of you who don't know, let me just explain something real quick about TDR rocket launchers. They don't work quite the same as other TDR weapons. Like, I have a Deliverance here. And as soon as I throw this, the remaining 10 bullets in my magazine are going to be consumed. And that increases the damage of the gun, right? Baby Maker, 46, 65, 19, and I've got no ammo. Same thing with shotguns, same thing with pistols, but not the same thing with rockets. So, those three rockets went consumed just now, right? 3 plus 50 is 53, 5 plus 48 is 53. They weren't consumed. Weird! This is a glitch because this isn't a thing in the pre-sequel, but it is a thing in this game. Uh, however, there is more layers to TDR rocket launchers being broken because there's another glitch with them that works with every TDR rocket launcher on every Vault Hunter, and it's very funny. What is that? Well, uh, the control system of this game is quite free, so you can swap, but you can cancel that swap with a reload, and you can just, you know, it's, it's quite free. Uh, that's how swap shots work. Or multi shots work where you reload and shoot at the same time, and then you swap away, you cancel your reload with a swap, and then when you swap back, you cancel that swap with a reload, right? Imagine I'm shooting, but it's a similar thing here. So, what you do, you reload, and then you see where I paused it. At that moment, what you want to do is swap away, right? And then swap back and when you swap back you want to reload like immediately again and you just want to combo it right so like this and you can see <laughs> you can see tdr rocket launchers are a bit broken right i don't know why this is a thing this actually isn't a thing in the pre-sequel like in this clip here you can see that the reserve ammo is consumed and i'm also not able to get the swap because as soon as the uh, javelin's airborne uh, the gun is reloaded but in this game it doesn't drain your ammo so you can just throw high power javelins as much as you want and it's literally infinite as long as you can keep this technique up it is a bit tight on the timing right so just in the editing software to make it really easy to see look one two three reload so there's three frames when the javelin's airborne before your gun's actually reloaded so you you are going to have to be quick with it and it's going to take a bit of time to feel it out and reload speed skills do actually affect the timing of this as you'll see later when i demonstrate that as well but uh this really just takes your javelin krieg like to the next level and i actually had in op8 when that was the max level i had a javelin zero build as well which was really fun uh, I'm not quite sure if that still works. I haven't used it in a long time. I kind of stopped playing this game as much after OP10 came out because it was a bit ridiculous. But I digress. Yeah, this works on any Vault Hunter, any TDR rocket launcher you can find. This works with... This kind of makes TDR rocket launchers pretty much the best early game weapon that's non-unique. So, you know, like excluding the Harold and things like that. Every time I get like a decent TDR rocket launcher, I put it in my arsenal because it's just, you know, they're, every TDR launcher is broken. And they're incredibly good. And this is the best one. Obviously, this build isn't going to take down a raid boss anytime soon. Unless someone wants to uh, <laughs> try that. But it is a glitch that's very useful for like just ammo conservation. And just mobbing in general. More than that, it's just pretty cool. And uh, we like cool stuff in this game, don't we? So, Yeah, uh, that's the glitch from me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see the Javelin Zero build that I had before, uh, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video because this is my first Borderlands 2 video on the channel and I am very open to criticism because I would like to make more videos on this game because I have a lot of ideas. Uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, appreciate you sticking around. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me. Like I said, this isn't technically a new glitch, but you know, this is the first time I think I've ever seen anyone really talk about it and it is pretty cool. Um, it's fun to play around with, so... 
you ever want some fun to try out in Borderlands 2, give this a try. And uh, with that being said, appreciate your time. Thank you. And we'll see you later.